Awesome. My stuff's already recording. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Look, just so you know, this is a Saturday and I'm still here trying to make some videos here. That's crazy that I'm over here doing this, but it's all good because at the end of the day, we got to work hard to make it happen. All right. So you guys remember that. Any case, we're going to be looking at some solving inequalities by addition and subtraction here. Here's the thing. I just want to show a couple different types of problems because sometimes, you know, we got to see some problems to be, be able to understand what's really going on here. Okay. So uh, I just want to do something real basic to begin with. Let me go ahead and open my snipping tool real quick. Give me one sec. So I can go ahead and start snipping stuff. But uh, let's do something a little, you know, let's do this one right here. Let me go ahead and pull out just straight up number one right there. Bam. Match each inequality to its solution. Well, we're not going to be matching it. We're just going to be doing some problems here. And we're going to make sure that we can handle these types of questions. Okay, so let's go ahead and paste this. Make it a little bit larger. And as you can see, we have a real basic inequality all right i just want to pull something real basic because at the end of the day we got to be able to do these types of questions all right so as you can see here we have ourselves x plus 11. you know what i should do something before i even finish this okay i'm gonna be doing this real quick give me one second i was told that this may actually help out there you go we'll we'll put in a little dark mode okay it might be a little easier on the eyes any case we got ourselves x plus 11 is greater than 16, okay? So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and write my problem out, you know. this just, just pretend this is the same thing as an equation, guys. That's really what this is, okay? Anytime you see an equality, just still pretend it's like an equation here, okay? So at the end of the day, we have the x. We're adding 11. The opposite of adding 11 is subtracting 11 from both sides, right? Doesn't change. Nothing's changed here. All right. The X is still on the left. As you could see, we still cancel out this plus and minus 11, right? Still cancels each other out. Okay. Makes a zero pair. And we got 16 minus 11 is five. And that inequality sign, we just bring straight down. Okay. So X is greater than five. All right. It's a real basic problem here. Now, here's the thing. I wanted to make sure that we understood how to, let's say, uh, use a number line to show x is greater than 5, okay? So I want to remind you guys, this is something maybe from 5th, 6th grade. Really, it's a 6th grade skill, I believe. I've, I've seen it a lot in 6th grade. Um, but, you know, if we don't use it, we lose it, right? You know what? I probably shouldn't have even done this because I don't think I let – me, let me go ahead and erase these numbers real quick because I probably need to go ahead and move some stuff over. But as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm making my number line right here. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and start numbering these things. I'll make this one zero. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, of course, on the left of zero is negative one, negative two. So from here, we could go ahead and see that since x is greater than five, we would have to put a circle around the tick mark for five, okay? Because that's that's essentially what it's telling us. Now, since this is not an or equal to, remember, an or equal to would have the symbol at the bottom. These right here, these symbols. Oh, a little sad face, Mr. Do no, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but the symbols, the symbols here, um, these are shaded, okay? Shaded circles, okay? We call them kind of closed, okay? They're closed, all right? Um, but since we're looking at an inequality that's just a less than or greater than, these are unshaded, unshaded. Okay, I know they look like a little face. I'm already seeing a little face, a little, uh, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so those are unshaded. And uh, of course, if they're unshaded, we, we call them the opposite of closed, which would be open, you know. So in any case, this circle is going to remain open because there's not an or equal to, okay. Um, but it, we're also going to have to understand that X is greater than five. So basically, we need to shade in the direction that is greater than 5. And in this case, you know, x is greater than 5, you know. So we would shade to the right, to the right, okay? And so hopefully that, you know, kind of a little refresher, a little refresher here, okay? We'll take a look at one little quick little one over here just to kind of maybe look at a little word problem here, make sure we practice some of this stuff just so we could understand. Let me go ahead and... Let's take a look at number 16. All right, this little word problem. We'll do the same thing. We'll go ahead and convert it into an inequality correctly. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and make a little, you know, uh, our inequality, solve it. And then maybe perhaps uh, 
you know, do a little number line just so we could make sure we kind of remember those things. Okay, so we got ourselves seven more than a number, okay, is less than or equal to negative 18. Okay, so this is a good problem because we're going to be seeing some really particular things that I like to, to talk about here. For example, we see more than, all right, more than means, well, we're going to be adding here, okay? We're going to be adding. So the more than means we're going to be adding here, all right? But here's something that a lot of students do still kind of make a mistake with when there's when, when we're reading and interpreting these issues, okay? In this case, when you use more than, I hope you understand what's in front of it. The seven here is not going to be in front of the plus sign of our equation. This seven, let me go ahead and do a little arrow, is actually going to end up behind the plus sign, okay? We got to just make sure we're really, really, really careful with this because at the end of the day, if we don't do this correctly, um, it's not going to affect it's not going to affect the addition problems too much because addition has the commutative property, but it will affect subtraction problems. I mean, in subtraction, so so it is it is important. Okay, order does matter with subtraction. In any case, we have ourselves seven more than a number. Um, of course, we go back here as you can see a number right here a number. We do not know the number. It is a variable. Hopefully, you could see it. I can see it right there. Yeah. So it's a variable. We could go ahead and just put the letter X. So I'm going to go ahead and put the X, you know, so this matches with this, right? Now, be careful, okay? A lot of times, less than is used for subtraction, okay? But you need to be aware that this problem is a little bit different than just saying less than. As I hope you could see, it's not saying less than, it's saying is less than. And, and, and it even says or equal. OK, so that's going to give you a really, really kind of a little little kind of a great little, I guess, a flash in the pan little thing going on in your, in your head that this is the inequality. OK, so we need to really make sure that, of that, because a lot of times people confuse less than and is less than. And sometimes we put a subtraction symbol when it should be an inequality symbol. OK, so let's go ahead and continue working this out and, and finish the problem up here. So the less is less than. There you go, is less than or equal to, notice the inequality is now a less than or equal to, one, um, negative 18. And so we'll go ahead and put the negative 18. Okay, so again, if we, we are able to, well, to be able to see this, you know, at the end of the day, with practice, we get better. Okay, so just be careful. I, you know, want to show some of the pitfalls people make. Now, from here, it becomes an easy problem. We can do this all day. We have x plus 7. We could draw our little line from the inequality straight down just to represent the, um, you know, inequality in this problem. We've got negative 18 on the other side. Well, the opposite of plus 7 would be minus 7 on both sides. The 7s on the left cancel out, right? These go away. It makes a zero pair. We're left with x is less than or equal to. And since they're the same sign on the right, they're both negative, we would add them. Okay, so we just get 18 plus 7, and we end up with 25. And since they're both negative, it stays negative. And there you go. Okay, and there you go. We got our answer for a simple one-step addition question here. Okay, now at the end of the day, when you may need to make a number line for this, not all problems do this, but just in case they do, you know, really the easiest way to set this up, I draw three tick marks, you know, to kind of represent the number line here. And the one in the middle would be the answer I'm looking for, right? Because that's the one we're really focusing on here, right? So we would circle that, all right? Again, this is x is less than, so it's less than, so we're going to be shading to the left of the number line. So we're shading this way, okay, because our x is less than, so I hope that's making sense. We're shading this way, but I hope you see we also have the or equal to symbol. So that means that this will be a closed circle the circle will also be shaded here okay so you got to make sure that you understand that and you know with practice we get better at it all right so um we're gonna go ahead and stop this video for right now and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put some more videos pretty soon about you know other inequalities and stuff like that but uh hopefully you got to see this one and it made sense all right i hope you guys have a good day